This is Twit. This is kind of came out of nowhere. In fact, there was no context to this whatsoever, leading me to believe that this release was a mistake and was supposed to be held for this event next week. And oh, they just ran with it. And because it's such a small thing, who cares? Which is in the Windows Insider program, I believe in Canary and Dev, not in beta. Uh, there is now a new version of the Microsoft Paint app. Now, I mentioned this app, I think, last week as well, if not the week before, um, because this is the app they so thoroughly screwed up in Windows 11 two years ago and then spent two years not fixing. And then sometime over the past couple of months, they actually fixed it. And, <laughs> thank you. And of course, I'm thinking now they're going to leave it alone, right? No, no, they're going to keep screwing it with it because that's what Microsoft does. So they added this feature just, again, out of the blue which is like a background removal feature. We're all familiar with this, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. tools like Photoshop have this kind of thing where you can kind of select a color or whatever it is in an image and it auto-selects around something. Or we can do this on our phones, right? You know, Google and uh, uh, Apple phones have this capability, I'm sure. It's just, you mm -hmm. know, you, except you touch it. Um, okay. <laughs> just, there was no explanation of why. Uh, a couple of questions uh, come up out of this. Like, well, why, obviously. But... Um, <laughs> This is not a, uh, this is a fairly advanced feature when you think about it. It's also something you would use for very specific purposes. It seems like something that should be in the Photos app, which has its own uh, very involved editor for photos um, and not in Paint. I mean, people don't typically use Paint to edit photos. Um, also, when you think about the list of features maybe Paint could have, um, why would you start with this one? Like, wouldn't you make a list of like 50 features? Like, advanced image editing features and start at the top, like a tool that could make the, uh, like a line level or a, uh, you know, or whatever, like, a, you know, it seems like there should be other things. This is a weird one-off feature to come to a random app that I don't think very many people use. I, Do you by the use way, paint? I use it every single day. Yeah. I that's, my, I thought I remembered you saying I make that, my yeah. Christmas card with it. Like <laughs> oh, I, wow. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. I use it extensively. So now oh, man, you can I, cut I out Christmas trees and drop them, you know, with this new background removal tool. I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> well, <I>, fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it anyway, it's, 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 it's weird to me. And my guess is this is going to be one of several AI features that they announced for windows and one of several that will probably be part of paint. Cause this can't be the only one because this, you know, think about it. I mean, this kind of uh, background removal is probably AI. It's certainly more AI than spell checking. Right. Which is also AI now, by the way, because everything is. Um, so uh, that's my guess. They had a really short blog post about it. They didn't really explain why they were doing this or what it was, if it was part of something bigger, they just said, oh, it's out there. You'll notice it. So we might as well write about it. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on for next week. I wouldn't be surprised if this factors into next week in a small way, but um, as part of something bigger. Maybe they've got what's it called for you folks? Telemetry of mm -hmm. people Telemetry. going in. What, what do you what do you folks call for it? You folks. <laughs> I, I don't I don't call it anything. Oh, okay, good. Uh, um I, I do you, where they I guess like feedback. I don't know. Anyway, uh yeah. oh analytics. That's what analytics, I would call it. Yep. Um but usage statistics. Usage statistics of, sure. of somebody going around and doing this very difficult selection. Oh. And they've seen so many people doing that that they thought, you know what? Let's save people time. Let's bring this into Make know, it a this, bit almost, this felt almost interny to me, right? Yeah. Like there was oh, a summer intern. Like intern someone's like, hey, look what I did. <laughs> and this, and yeah. had access to that yeah. code base and just made a thing yeah. and they're like, eh, ship it. There, um, I'm not going to be able to pull this out off the top of my head, but there are uh, the newest version of the Photos app, which came to Windows 11 somewhere midstream. It doesn't matter. Um, it's the one that supports iCloud Photos if you want to do that, but not Google Photos because God forbid. And um, it's always, this app has long had, you know, reasonable editing features. This one actually is miss. I can't think of the features, unfortunately, I apologize. But there's actually some features missing that were in the previous version of the Photos app from an editing perspective. It seems like this would have been a better choice, mm. you know, for that. I, I just, the, uh, the Photos app, that is. But um, I can't, I don't know. I can't explain because they don't explain and i don't i don't yeah, know. I honestly I, I, this is where the intern idea came from it's like there's mm -hmm. a team that takes care of photos right now and they're going to do that their way i don't know if there's anybody who's paying attention to paint <laughs> somebody wanted to tinker with it code base is available ta-da oh i'm sure they're passing it around like a cheap beer at a frat party it's like <laughs> just um you know everyone can have a sip anyone want to touch photo hey it's it's paint remember paint was a big deal want to screw with it there yeah. we go 
Uh, you know, yeah, I, I just feel special because they've contributed to paint now. What do you exactly. do with it when you use it every day, Paul? Is it for adjustments to images? Yeah, so I mean, I, so I put a graphic or? on the top of every article that I do, right? Mm -hmm. So there's there's a couple of things that paint just does really well, and I'm just used to. I know all the keyboard shortcuts and everything, which was why those changes they made in Windows 11 were so infuriating. They killed mm -hmm. the keyboard shortcuts for about a year and a half. Um, they work again now, thank God. But um, it's just it. I, I I do use Photoshop elements in my case, but for the for the kind of the big stuff, and I would use it for this kind of background removal for sure if I needed that. But um, but yeah, the final output often comes right out of Paint. That's just not every time, but uh, I, every day I use it. I mean, I mean, I mean that literally. There is not a day I don't open Paint. But anyway, well, I, I know now I'm kind of looking forward to going to throughout.com and seeing all these weird overlaid <laughs> images. Well, when you, when you, if you look at my Christmas card, uh, it, that's probably, it was at one point at the Twit card, you'll, every year it's, you'll, it's, or if I send it to you, I'm not, I don't, remember, I don't know who I send it to exactly, but yeah, um, we get it. <laughs> I hope you get it. Um, it's yeah, that's a hundred percent paint. It's like, um, the only thing I use Photoshop for in that case is I take the original photos and I shrink them down to some size where I can fit them within the blocks, but then I use paint for everything else. There you go. There's one. 2022. Yeah. So all paint. Oh, no, almost all paint. I should say. And okay. Richard, you said you use it too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, same thing, cropping images. It's often grabbing screenshots and just wanting to trim a portion out for something. Like that's it's pretty normal. Just a quick way to snap and grab a photo, grab an image from something paste it somewhere where you can get it trimmed up and then drop it in a PowerPoint, something along those lines. It doesn't have layers, does it? Doesn't support nope. layers. Okay. No. Yeah. So pretty, it, it, it remains fancy, relatively like basic. Too, too the fancy. number of times um, more than adequate apps have appeared to replace Paint cannot be counted, you know, including apps that support layers like Paint.net or Photoshop yeah. or Affinity Photo or whatever. You know, there's a million of them. Yeah. And um, I, don't, I don't know. Paint has that same position that Notepad has. There's a yeah. ton of That's reported true. potential. Uh, it's an, another Many app I use every it. single day. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, do not screw with it. Actually, one thing you can tell from the the screenshot that some uh, that somebody posted to the uh, Discord, at least, which is the, um, which is that this app, <laughs> let's see, really, orig originally it was called PC Paintbrush. Remember, um, mm. this app has a humongous UI at the top that looks yeah. like a ribbon. It's, it's not gigantic. a ribbon. It's just a gigantic toolbar. You can't collapse it. You know, Are a you real ribbon, me? you could hide that thing. So. When I edited the image you're looking at now to fit in my homepage, I needed to go with 16 by 9. I had to manually crop this thing down to 16 by 9 to make it fit, which is, you know, it's like the old word joke with all the toolbars open and the only thing left for text was this tiny little yeah. thing you could type in. That's exactly what paint is now. You know, it's... it's Why can't it's just, you collapse? That's so good. Because it's not actually a... That's the thing. There, the UI control exists. They did not use it. I, I, it's this to further his uh, intern theory. I think there's something to this. Is it possible to hack these apps? <laughs> I, where just, you I just, can I just use the one C++ from Windows plus, 2000 man. or something yeah. where you could just hop in and turn on the little feature that uh, lets you collapse things or does that not? That's not no, possible. Not that I, know I would love that. I would never have that thing on, you know? Yeah. Why space. do I need all of the palette colors? <laughs> I don't know. Available at all times. I know, like it's 1990 or something. <laughs> or Any, like I'm actually okay. painting with a palette in my hand. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Together, ACI Learning and IT Pro entertain and train your team to keep your business performing at its best. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to it listeners who complete the form can receive as much as 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution plan. You'll get the proper quote based on the size of your team.